Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Rick and Morty, Season 6, Episode 2. Before we get going, I just want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you some more. I have finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I've been doing this since 2018, although technically I've been doing just the anime and cartoon stuff, I think, for the past two or three years. I don't know the exact cutoff date, but I know I was mashing everything up into one thing, wasn't working out, separated the two channels, uh, and now we are doing good. So we're going to continue to do anime and cartoon-related things. You're going to get your Rick and Morty clips for the next several weeks. I think there's 10 episodes this season. Harley Quinn's ending this week as well. Uh, Made in the, the Abyss is going on, I think, for a couple of more weeks. I believe we have one or two more episodes of Made in the Abyss. I think we're getting like 12 or 13. Uh, and then a whole bunch of stuff is going down in October. Talking Chainsaw Man, talking Bleach is coming back, talking uh, Spy X Family, <laughs> um, My Hero Academia. Um, I might be missing something. There's like four or five different shows. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to be doing Rick and Morty in the process as well. So I'm going to be continuing to review Rick and Morty. Uh, probably going to review My Hero Academia as well. Uh, and then lots of anime clips because they seem to be doing very, very well. So obviously, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Now, with that being said, let's get into the review. So we start off with everybody having Morty's voice. We have no idea what's going on. Um... And everybody's just confused. Uh, then we have this little flyer here. You are my grandson rally today. I support this message. And uh, Rick has taken over Roy. So basically they were in Blitz and Chips. Uh, Morty was playing as Roy. And the machine got glitched out. Uh, and Rick is actually Roy. And Morty's personalities, or I should say aspect, every, everything that makes up Morty is split up to all these different NPCs. These, these not, <laughs> not important people. Uh, basically background characters that are essentially useless um, and has nothing to do with it. Uh, meanwhile, Summer is trying to defend Rick and Morty's body uh, as that goes on. Uh, this one right here is the main char character. Uh, they're all Mortys, I'm, so I'm probably forgetting her name. And 9 out of 10, we are never going to see this character again, because that's just how Rick and Morty does it. Uh, she, he, we're just going to say Morty, is all about it. Um, her dad is not about it. He's like, you know, this is a religion. And then he's like, it's not a religion, it's a fact. Uh, <laughs> and things along those lines. He's like, you know, why would you want to go back to being a 14-year-old boy when you can kind of live out your life here? Uh, then we just have the kind of summer thing. Side quest is just like a diehard thing. Um, and, and it's funny because I felt exactly like summer in this episode being I have never seen Die Hard. I, I have never once watched the movie Die Hard uh, in my years in life. And summer hasn't <laughs> watched it either. Uh, so we got, you know, music Morty. Uh, Morty being, um, you know, saying, oh, break up his cult. And he's like, hey, it's not a cult. Uh, you're actually part of this, um, and we have this one particular Morty, getting everybody to join him. Uh, then we have Summer, this was kind of like the preview, you know, Summer splashing down, eating this alien. We, we, don't, we don't learn their race, we have no idea what their race is, I don't think we even know the names. They had these really creepy looking walkie-talkies that kind of remind me of the aliens before they get big in Space Jam. Uh, but they, they're just kind of walkie-talkies. And Summer is just kind of running around going, Die hard, die hard, die hard, die hard, die hard. Um, and, and that's, like, her entire thing. Um, it, get, it gets kind of annoying. Uh, but basically, we can see Rick aging through here, or Roy aging, because, you know, he's in there. He's in the, the video game time. He's in there for, like, 50 years, where in reality, you know, he's only been in there for a couple of hours. Um, we get to see all the characters are aging up, you know, things are going on, they're building all of these ships to kind of fly out of it, uh, to go all form back into Morty. Uh, Rick said, at one point, Rick was like, well, we got 92%, that's good enough, let's go. Um, and then it almost gets down to like 50% at one point. Uh, this is her father, they haven't talked in years, so I, more like five minutes, 
in reality. And um, she's basically, he's, he's on board. He doesn't know how to lose her. her. His mom died, or her mom died. I know it's a, the, the his, her thing. We're going to keep on going with everybody's a him because everybody's a Morty um, in this. And uh, it's it's just in, in, interesting. Um, but but he's, he doesn't want to lose her is, is the gist of it. He just accepts it. Uh, we have Summer kind of going back, screaming die hard. Uh, we're at the president's house. The president does not believe it whatsoever. Um, he, he is just not having it. Or this version of the president. We haven't seen the ac the actual president in a while. It's been a while since they brought him in an episode. Um, they're all going together. And then he finally just says, you know what, let's just all go. Let's just all go together. Let's get it over with. We're killing a bunch of aspects of this one singular person. They get into wars, violence, fighting, all of these other things. Uh, and it's bad. Because the more they fight, the more these pe people die, or virtual people, whatever, die. Uh, the more um, parts of Morty get destroyed. And I don't know if they're just going to kind of like reset it next episode. Uh, that's kind of my guess. Or if Morty's going to have a permanent personality change. Um, but uh, Rick kind of refuses to say he loves them. That, that's that's kind of part of it. Like there's this one whole thing where it was like, okay, we can kind of all agree. But like, you know, you have to say you love us. And then Rick doesn't. There's like a long pause, and then that, that's kind of what leads up to the war and everything along those lines, where nobody's believing Roy, Roy slash Rick anymore. Um, then uh, part of Morty has a daughter, uh, or, well, you know, the, the main female Morty has a daughter, and they don't even know if she's, like, actually part of Morty's personality, like, changing or not. Uh, they're like, oh, well, you're a second gen. We don't actually know if, if you're part of it or not. We don't know what actually happens with this. Um, the main villain dude finds uh, Rick and Morty strapped up to the Roy machine. Um, she's basically going to end up staying behind. She's like, yep, not doing it. Her dad ends up dying, whatever part of Morty that was. Uh, she said everybody's going to go, but she's going to stay behind. Um, Rick kind of accepts it. He's, he's pretty good with it. Uh, Summer actually ends up reading the end part of a diehard fanfic. Uh, so she ends up strapping the gun to her back. Uh, let's see if we can actually get it where it shows um, the actual book here. Yep, there we go. The Nakotumai Paradigm. I have no idea what the heck that means. Probably some alien thing. Yeah, Summer's got the, had the gun strapped to her back. Um, he was like, you know, you shot me and you did all this stuff, uh, and now I can eat people again. Kind of, the whole Die Hard thing confused me. Maybe I would have got it more and enjoyed it more. Uh, but yeah, they're all good. They, you know, save the day. Uh, and then Rick is going to save the broken Roy here. Um, so that way he doesn't lose that part of her. So Rick has a giant, like, he things he likes. So Rick has this giant warehouse where everything's labeled. Uh, maybe people's personalities are saved in other things. Maybe it's just stuff he likes. Kind of taking after the dragon, hoarding it. Uh, this part, uh, I don't even remember what the heck they're doing here. It's something die hardy again. <laughs> again. Oh, die hard three. There we go. And the guy's like, man, I wish my brother was still alive. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know if they have guest stars this season. I know before they had like guest stars every episode. I'm not sure if that's the case uh, with this or not. Let's see if we go through the credits here. Let's let the credits roll for a second. Let's see if it gives us stuff. Character, oh no, character design, background design, co-design. Oh my god, I don't care about the designers. I care about the people. The people portraying them. Executive producers, come on. Uh, let's see, Harmony, technical director, building supervisor. Oh my god. Can we get to the actual people here? Oh no, we're just not, we're not doing the people here. Let's see here. Oh, it did say starring. Let's see, we're going we're gonna to go back to it. We'll figure this out. Casting. Let's just, we're going to have to go back to the beginning of the credits. Because, uh, we'll just let this play out for a couple of seconds. Um... Oh, is guest star Peter who? It goes to starring Maurice, Philip, Nolan, Laura, Tom. I wish this actually, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean pr primarily this was just the, the the Morty voices the entire time. Um, but 
decent episode overall. Oh, Peter Dinklage. There's your guest right there. Um, the guy from uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, I think he was uh, he was in some dog movie too. He's in a bunch of stuff. But uh, let's I'll give this like a solid eight out of ten. I think that's fair. Um, I, I think it's something that may need a rewatch. Um, sometimes I don't, you know, fully understand. Um, you know, sometimes they're trying to get like, I, I guess you could say smart things in there <laughs> or deep developmental things uh, for personalities. But it's kind of interesting to see it because it's like you see all of these different aspects that make up a person and theoretically they can be at war with each other. So you, I mean, I mean, it's basically sh saying you can kind of be at war with yourself. You can be at disagreement with yourself. Uh, there's different parts of yourself that act certain ways and other parts that act other ways. I think it's kind of the gist of the episode. Uh, but it, it was just kind of weird. Maybe I didn't get everything. Being, I was watching this tired. You know, when you watch this at 11 o'clock at night, you got to work the next day. Um, at that point, I'm getting ready for bed. You know, it's, it ends at 11.30 and I'm out. I'm, I am done for the night. So maybe this is something where I got to start watching this. Uh, last week, Memorial Day, I got I didn't have to go to work on Monday, so it wasn't really an issue. Uh, but now the next, you know, eight episodes or so it might. Maybe I should just start watching this the day after uh, or recapping myself the day after so I get a better understanding of the episode as a whole. Uh, because, it, because it wasn't bad, it wasn't great either. You know, as, as I, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because of that one specific aspect of it. Uh, but at the same time, um, I don't know. I feel like it left me wanting a little more. But then again, that's the, kind of the point. It, it leaves you wanting more. You want to go back and watch it again, or you want to watch the next episode and see what happens. So, you know, this is kind of uh, a one-off episode if you will, uh, it's not like a, you know, it's not like straight storyline. Uh, so they're going back to kind of the Rick and Morty adventures forever. That's where we're going to end it. I think that's where we're going to end it. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, the like, comment what you want to see for future uh, cartoon and anime related videos. Yet again, thank you for the thousand subscribers. And I will probably do a separate video because I think I'm going to do a Szechuan sauce giveaway. I think I got, I got, I've been trying to give away you know, do a giveaway for a little while, and I just haven't gotten the subscribers to do it, but now that I do, so look out for that video as well. We'll be, we'll I'll figure out when I want to post that. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.